Kamunting so is only for detainee, ISA detainees? It's only for ISA detainees, yes, mm. only for ISA detainees. And what is it like you were in there? No, uh, mm. I was uh, fortunate enough to only spend 60 days, mm -hmm. 52 to be exact, and uh, I was not sent to Kamunting, no. Mm. But uh, I was told by the boys, Kamunting is easier than the 60 days, the 60 days is worse. Whereabouts is the 60 days? We, uh, sorry? Is it in police lockup? We or? don't know where. We are blindfolded, oh. we are handcuffed, we are brought in a blacked out van. And uh, the, the van is like a goods van. When you mm. sit in the van, I don't know, did you get that dark van, you know, with no yeah. windows? Oh, windows closed. With no windows. And mm. you, windows being closed. And you bounce, you bounce all over the road when they're driving. I don't know, I think they're purposely driving round and round and round in circles. So you seem to be driving God knows how many hours. Mm. Probably they just took us to the back for all you know, you know, but mm. we were already disoriented and uh, <clears throat> by the time we got there we were classic like mad, you mm. know, pra practically mm. going to throw up, mm. you know, and, uh, but we don't know, the van drives right into the building, mm -hmm. uh, then they open the door, blindfolded. and uh, we're still blindfolded, and we brought it to the room, when we're in the room they remove the blindfold, and that's it, it we're in, okay. yeah, and they, and, yeah, and they, they take off the handcuffs and we're in a eight, feet by nine feet square box that's it no window nothing whatsoever a steel door to let you in and out of course and a little six by nine uh, in just pigeon hole uh, pigeon hole for them to throw that uh, food. what they call food through <laughs> and uh, so for two months that's your living conditions It's a cement floor uh, not as nice as this but uh, just bare cement probably built before the Second World War, so imagine how black the cement has become by now. You don't get slippers, and uh, by the end of the day, uh, the, the bottom of your feet is as black as the top of his shoes, you know. Mm. And uh, no bed, uh, no pillow, no bed. no bed, no pillow, no mattress, nothing. You sleep on the cement floor. For 52 days. For 52 plywood, days. Plywood. Uh, well, they have a plywood, uh, but the plywood is as black, and the plywood is itchy. You know, your whole body itches, you know. I don't know whether it's because it's yeah, probably bugs. Mm. And uh, they have a little uh, hole in the in the corner of the room which serves as your toilet. And a pipe for you to do everything, you know. So I would say, well, you know, go into that toilet and, uh, you know, visualize living for 60 days in the toilet without opening the door. <laughs> That's what I say is like, and uh, so uh, they say Kabunting is better. I mean, you can move around, you can mix, you know. Uh, not that. that there we are under solitary confinement. And did you have any exercise? Exercise? No, 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 no. Literally in that room. No, no. We just kept in that today. in that concrete box. That's solitary right. confinement. Solitary. Con mm. Even the guards don't talk to us. We ask the guards anything, they don't reply. They they don't wear watches. You don't know what time it is. You know, they don't. Uh, they don't try and question you. Not the guards, no. but the interrogators. Yeah. I had eight interrogators, some had twelve. You had I don't know six. how many, you had six. You and know. they interrogate you in the cell? Or did they oh no, we are brought out again, handcuffed, blindfolded. Uh, yeah, we brought up. And at the other place we brought upstairs, and then we go through this lane which has got red lights, you know. So it's this red lights, and you walk through this red light, and you go into the room. It's uh, eerie. Yeah, eerie. yeah. Hey, green or red was it? Red. Red, yeah. Which was the green one then? The green one was one of the rooms, I think. Yeah, yeah one green, of I don't know. But they had, they have, you know, this hall, mm. you walk through, and then there's a room with all green lights, you know. And you sit through there, and from uh, breakfast till tea time, there's a marathon sessions of questions and answers, you know. <clears throat> and what sort of questions did they ask you? Oh, they asked everything under the sun. They started off by asking me, okay, I want to know everything about you from the day you were born until the day we arrested you until the minute we arrested you. So I started, well, it was a, a very cold night, <coughs> snowing, and I was, he said, what are you talking about? I said, you want to know from the day I was born? <laughs> How do you know it's uh, snowing and cold? I was born in September in England. <laughs> you know, that's definitely it's cold and snowy. No, 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 no. I said, okay, you tell it. So they got irritated. So we were playing around with them a bit. And uh, I think my advantage was, we spoke in English, their command of English was not that good, and they tried to make me speak Malay in the beginning. And uh, they, you know, they said, you know, do you speak Malay? I said, yes, I'm probably speaking in Malay. 
Malay is our national language. We shall speak Malay until I speak English, then only you reply in English. Understand? Says, yes, paham, understand. Then he asked me some question. I said, uh, okay, now you tell me. You explain. Okay, 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 I'll do that. Uh, you know, uh, why you don't know? No, no, I know, I know, I know. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, to find the right words, you know. Uh, Okay, okay, speak English, speak English. Ah, okay. Then we ended up speaking English for the rest, you know. They were so irritated waiting for that sort of the word which was the tip of my tongue which I can't seem to find it, you know. So I said, once I speak English, you're in my, you know, <coughs> my ballpark because uh, their command of English is not that good. So uh, it was a debate, basically a debate, you know. I don't know how many debates you were, you had to engage in, but we were practically debating, especially the, the second 60 days. The first 60 days was more Q&A. They ask, you reply, you know, we the first, have to... Uh, the first two weeks, the first two weeks. The first two weeks. For me, the first month, you know. The what first do you mean the second 60 days? Well, there's, there's, it's broken up into 30 days, 30 days. The oh, first yeah. 30 days, they ask you, you reply. Yes. Then by the 30th day or the third week, between the third to the fourth week, depending on how many questions they have for you, they prepare this thick document. Mine was about 200 pages. The exams was, I think, 300 pages, you know. And uh, this is our uh, statement. The statement that we made, everything that we say is recorded here, and this forms part and parcel of your confession of your crime, and you sign it. So I had to sign. I don't know. Some people didn't sign, so I had to sign it. And uh, crime. So that's clear. Now you have confessed to your crimes. It's all documented. Now if we send you two years to Kabuting, it's be based on your confession. But you weren't okay. charged with a crime. Oh no, none of us are charged with any crime. Yeah. So what is the? They say that you have a crime, or oh yes, yes, all of us have crimes. You know, it is whether they want to now send you to Kamunting for your crimes. If mm. they feel that uh, you're dangerous, you're non-reformed, mm. you know, you have not repented and stuff like that. You know, and everybody, they... all of us have crimes. So even though they don't, they're concerned, of course. Even though they don't charge you with a crime, they say you. No, have... None of them were charged. Nobody mm. in Kamunting has been charged. But they, their languages, they say that you have committed a crime and oh, yes. do they say what it is oh yes they say you know your crime is uh, you know uh, acting prejudicial to the security of this country mm. and we believe you are a threat to national security mm. so i acted prejudicial to the security and they believe i am a threat to national security that's mm. my crime mm. now specifically what i have done okay we shall spend the next 60 days going through the list and then mm. we will show you what you have done. Mm. In short, they don't know what I've done. <laughs> you know, they're trying to fish to see what they can find, what I've done. Mm. I say, specifically, what is it I've done? Mm. Oh, no, no, no. We have plenty of time. We have 60 days with you. We will go through slowly with you and show you what you have done and where you have gone wrong. Mm. So, <clears throat> but uh, the actual crime you committed is, mm. uh, you know, the threat to the security, that's what the, the, the detention order, you know, when, when they arrested us, <coughs> when they detain us and they give us a speech on paper, you are now detained under the Internal Security Act, we believe you are a threat to national security, okay, fact, that's it, thank you, it. that's all, we believe, so they don't even have need reason to believe, as opposed to reason to believe, we believe, you know, mm. or reasonable grounds to believe, which, which in English language means a lot, you know, reasonable grounds to believe, you have to submit your grounds, mm. you know, mm. or reason to believe. Here, Some uh, we believe. Mm. Or we have reason to believe. Yeah, we have reason to believe. We believe. Yeah. Mm.